James and the Miami Heat at Quicken Loans Arena on a night unlike any other. And you're going to see it tonight on TNT. And we, we approach the tip. In the hood, we call them rap songs. At Quicken Loans Arena. I'm glad we're here because I want to see it in person. You know, and Ernie, I, I will be honest. I've been in two NBA finals, and I've not seen the electricity in a regular season game ever in my life. I've been around basketball for 25 to 30 years and have never seen an electricity in a building and the intensity in a building for a regular season game. This feels like the NBA finals it does. right now. It does. I, I, and this like is a no game exaggeration. Seven. Yeah. A game seven <laughs> of an NBA finals is just as important. And we're ready for the opening tip. First of four meetings this season between these two clubs. The officials, Greg Willard, Zach Zauber, Kane Fitzgerald. Miami will hear this every offensive possession. Carlos Arroyo for LeBron James. Guarded here at the start by Joey Graham. And here is Arroyo. Rebounded by Perugia. We're going to see that defense all night tonight. The Cavs are going to pack the paint and force Miami to beat them from the outside. So Wade moves it across, picked up by Joey Graham. Games played by Parker. LeBron with the jumper. That's a great sign for LeBron. I didn't expect him to make shots early. He's got to be nervous out here. There's Antoine Jamison who just checked in. Able to knock down a three. Antoine Jamison these days coming off the ball. So the Cavaliers have taken a 14-10 lead. Well, that's going to be a tough matchup for Zadunas because he's going to stretch the floor and bring him away from that comfort area of the paint. James in a battle with Graham gives it up. There's Wade to the bucket. Yes, and a foul. Wayne Wade has opened up strong here in the first quarter. He was not malicious. I think he was probably, probably didn't really know what he was stirring up by making that move. James with a beautiful move. Wow. <laughs> LeBron with the reverse. Mario Chalmers. Now at the point, Joel Anthony has checked in for Miami. Here is James drilling it. LeBron James. Eight points for LeBron. Because they're not getting the easy shots. Gibson has seized the opportunity, really expanded his game. He used to be a spot-up shooter. Now he's taking and making more twos. James Jones with another three. Ten-point lead for Miami. Here's Gibson for three. And a look at LeBron James <laughs> in the process. A lot of times Miami players are playing on opposite sides of the course. Put them together. There's James for three. LeBron James shooting well. Now has 13 points. 12 point lead for Miami. They come in at 11 and 8. They won the last two after losing four of their previous five. The wins over Washington and Detroit. Bosch from deep. Chris Bosch. First now LeBron James over at the Cavaliers bench. See, and this is the problem with LeBron James and Booby Gibson, them being somewhat friends. See, this wouldn't happen back in the day. There's no way that I would have gone up. Now, I might have gone over there and taunting them, but they're talking friendly. And as much as the rivalry and as much hype has gone into this, LeBron shouldn't be going over there somewhat pouring gasoline because you know the fans are going right. to react behind right. the bench. Well, I don't think Eric Spolstra can be delighted about this. And no. I don't think any coach would be where it, there's too much kidding around. It's a, it's a new generation. Yes. Remember last year, the Cavaliers really angered a lot of teams with their dancing late Correct. in games. And there, were, there were players around the league who really took offense to that. Second quarter, and out the rebound of an 18-9. Here's James off the fake. Really nice execution offensively from Miami. We're seeing better movement from them tonight in the half court. Not a good ball movement. Turner, the turnover there from Williams. LeBron to the bucket. 18 points for James and Byron Scott calls for Todd. Roster, he is now the starting center off the steal. Barajal delivers to Graham. And he can do that too. In transition, he can run the pass. James getting it down in a hurry. They trap him. And the call is last touched by Cleveland. 
Now this crowd is just desperate <laughs> to get waiting. back in it. And uh, they see Bergeau make a great play at one end, and now they trap LeBron. The perfect play for Cavs fans to get excited about, to sort of mock LeBron, but the call goes the other way. Wade on a hard drive, pops it out to James. Shot clock to five. James for three. Uh -huh. Now they say it's a two. He had a foot on the line, but LeBron for the seventh field goal. He's seven, make it eight. Eight of 16 from the field. James steps back and hits again. That's a two again with the foot on the line. To Rod Williams and Barajal on front pass behind Barajal. Here's James on the move. Pass Williams. It counts in the foul. That's when they're at their best, and that's what everyone, including Charles Barkley and then Kenny Smith, has been clamoring for for the Miami Heat. Create offense with your defense and let your athletes take it over once you get into the open court. Good body control there by LeBron from these three wins, and assuming they go on to take this one and see what they're made of and see if they can start putting it together. Bosch. Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch has had a good night. Possibly on the road. This game obviously isn't over yet, but it could be a foregone conclusion that they're going in. Three in a row. That's when teams get better as LeBron James is just on fire here in this third period. Three for LeBron. Gibson came up short. Miami on the run again. Here's Wade kicking it over to James. Yes, and the foul. Oh, man. Wow. No headband. He's saying, I need my headband. <laughs> he just made two shots without it. I don't think he needs a headband at all. Look at the lob from Wade. And Jawad Williams makes a smart play. He sees the lob coming, but LeBron so strong. And think of that foul and the Mo Williams foul a couple plays ago. He's so strong. He just goes right through the Second defense. Riding down. Minute and a half remaining. Here's LeBron. Yes. 13 for 20. Here's James on the move. He gets the roll. It counts. And the foul. Another bucket for LeBron James in this third quarter. Well, it's funny. Byron Scott is looking for a little fight from his team. And it looks like the Cavaliers are laying on their back. James. Oh, yes. oh my man. goodness. Yeah, this, this is not fair now. He, he did say coming in this game, he knows all the spots on this floor. And he's going to every single one of them. And they make shots. They, they are they are just very difficult to beat. Say that about a lot of teams. Well, I mean perimeter shots. I said they make three, <laughs> three point <laughs> shots. Duh, that was kind of obvious. Wait a second. Let me write that down. <laughs> and when they when they make perimeter shots, then you get those two guys going in the you know, in the transition game. Forget about it. A 28 point win for Miami. 118 to 90. So they fall just short of their biggest margin of victory for the season. It's the worst loss of the year for the Cavaliers. So LeBron has taken his talents back to Cleveland. For LeBron James and the Heat facing this hostile crowd all night long. It's an easy win, and you know that they are happy to get out of town and back home for Saturday night's meeting with Atlanta. The Heat with their third straight win. They go to 12 and 8. The Cavs drop to 7 and 11. You see the individual scoring totals. And it's the first time that Miami has won here in Cleveland since April of 2007. They lost five straight here to LeBron and his Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, so much hype went into this ball game. Yeah, this is the first time I've really seen all three of the big three really step up and be aggressive and get it done really at both ends. I like them creating offense with their defense and getting out in the open court. All right, let's go to Craig with LeBron. Oh, thanks, Marv. LeBron, how relieved are you that this night is over and the experience is behind you? Um, I mean, you know, we came in here with, a, with one goal, and that was to, to win a basketball game, and, um, you know, we did that. We, we played. This is the most complete game that we had all year, I think, from, from start to finish.